All right. Well, I'm back live. I'm gonna uh, want to go out on the porch and have a cigarette. So, just very quickly, Banana Republic, Cedar, and Cypress. That's it. And uh, a little bit of Ancre Noir. That's what I'm doing it. Very, very kind of woody vetiver cedar cypress. Kind of an earthy vibe, I think. Opinion. It seems like kind of an earthy vibe. A little smoky with the Ancre Noir, but not not like uh, you know too weird or anything. But a little bit smoky. It's a little you know a little reverential, a little holy or whatever. A little, a little churchy, I'd say. I don't know. And everybody's got their own idea of what that means. Church, that is. Uh, oh, my phone is literally in my pocket. I want to put a little music on. Of this mushroom coffee. Uh, you know what? I don't want to listen to this. But that's not that's not bad music. It's interesting. What I want this moment. Cypress and Cedar, Banana Republic. It's very nice. I think out of the the Icon collection, what they got there, it's, uh, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's the most masculine kind of, uh, maybe the strongest. Well, I'm sure the, the Oud... The Oud one, maybe the Black Platinum are probably stronger, but it's just at least it's stronger than the 90 Pure White and the Vintage Green. So, I 
I'm not sure I want to listen to this either. There we go. Just shall live by faith. It's the word of the day. The just shall live by faith. So why do I think uh, cedar and uh, cy cypress and cedar, and I'm probably wearing about 60% cypress and cedar, maybe 70%. Even though I do smell the... Encre Noir, because the, the atomizer just sprays more, so two sprays of Encre Noir is kind of, I'd say, about equal to four sprays of Cypress and Cedar, but I... Why is Cypress and Cedar? It's a great church uh, fragrance, because it's... Uh, it is masculine. You know, you, you don't really want to... As a man, you don't really want to smell feminine in church. I mean... There's actually a verse in the Bible about not being too feminine. And it is masculine. It's a masculine scent. Uh, it's fairly clean, almost a little soapy. But, uh, you know, very non, very inoffensive, you know, uh, classic, classic kind of a fragrance with the... Uh, you know, that cypress note. And uh, just that, that kind of woody profile. Uh, it's just a you know, slightly spicy kind of a woody thing. So let's see what they say on Fragrant. What is it? So, top notes, bitter orange, mint, pink pepper. You know, it's beautiful, you know. And you get some middle notes of the cedar, the rhubarb, the black pepper. I love pepper. And then cypress is, is a base note. It's funny, too, because I see cypress as top notes sometimes. You, know, you have vetiver, moss, patchouli, musk. Yeah, I really like the peppers in this. It's very good peppers. Let's see what. You know what? I don't even have to leave for another hour. So I, I sometimes with church, I'm a little afraid of spraying too much fragrance on. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be uh, obnoxious in church. <laughs> you know, imagine that. But since I have an hour, and I think. By that time, it'll dry down pretty good. So, and you know, it's actually, it's a little chilly out, believe it or not. So let's, let's get some more of this uh, cypress and cedar. Let's really, let's really go for it. We already accented it with the Encre Noir, but let's, let's go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's put a jacket on. Huh? Comfortable jacket. Well, I'm already wearing blue. No, I can't. Can't really do. Uh, 
mismatch blue. That wouldn't be good. What about this one? go this is uh you know it's churchy so uh yes this does have working buttonholes one do two of them huh? I want people to really see those working buttonholes I don't even know this. I, I found this jacket. Literally found this jacket at this place I worked where they had a like a free clothes thing. They had like a room of free dress clothes for poor people who, you know, for most part could, get, could care less about <laughs> having somebody's old dress clothes. But every once in a while I would look through it when I worked there and found this jacket. Yep. So cypress and cedar. Oh yeah, it's got some moss in the background. And it's actually become quite popular. You know, it's, it's a popular one. I mean, Banana Republic, obviously, is pretty popular. Um, and it's, you know, it's pretty... It's got decent sillage. Not too crazy. It's okay, though. Uh, it's cheap. And, uh, you know, it's sweet and minty. Woodsy. It smells good. You know, it's one of those that you're going to probably love, but not, not going to love it too much. But I like it with the Encre Noir. It really just kind of smokes up the woods a little bit. It's, it's interesting. Some people will uh, compare it to Tierra de Hermes. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to roll another cigarette and uh, straighten out my shirt a little bit. And uh, let's see. So this was the very first shirt I ever had made for me. And even though it's it's kind of messed up at this point, I actually think it's still one of my best shirts. You know, a good quality shirt, even even after, I mean, it's been, I've had this more than 13 years, I'm sure. This is an old shirt. I've had this shirt a while, and it still holds up good. It was made by... Uh, company called Javinci, I believe, something like that, Javinci in New York, and uh, this was early 2000s, and they, uh, they did online, you know, the, there was, this, this is the very beginning of the online tailored thing, you know, made, made the measure type of shirt, so I have a couple other ones, 
Let's see. Ah, Giorgenti. Giorgenti. You see that? Uh, it's called Giorgenti. And I have since, because I was so happy with the shirts they made, I, I since uh, tried to get in contact with them. But funny enough, now they no longer, uh, from what I found out, they no longer do take online orders. You have to go to the shop and, uh, you know, you got to get it measured in person, I mean, which is kind of sad because I, I would love to have some more of these shirts, you know. They're just, I don't know, I mean, I've been, to, you know, I've, I've had, uh, I mean, let's see. I think I would have gotten these, it would have been after 2004, so. No, let's say 2006, just to be, so, 2010, that's 14, so it's been about 15 years. So these, so I've been trying out this shirt for 15 years, and it's, uh, you know, it has not let me down. Only thing is, it's a little tight now, which... You know, I could, I could, uh, well, I don't know. So even if I get in shape, I mean, honestly, I think, I think even just my muscular development, if you want to call it that, has outgrown this shirt, really. And I just messed this area all up. But, uh, oh my gosh. A little cigarette. Yeah, that's why I'm try to roll one too too big. But uh, yeah, it's too bad. I'd like to get a shirt made by them again. I mean, since this one is so proven, and I had another white one, but it was I had it was a bad material, and I just stopped wearing it. You know, material is important. If you get a, if you're gonna get a shirt that fits you great, get it in a good material. Don't cheap out. What's the point of getting a handmade shirt that's like polyester? You know. Tell you what, if I could find a a merino wool white shirt, I would be totally down for that. Let's see. Let's just Google Giorgenti. Best custom shirts. Janine Giorgenti, fourth generation Italian American designer. Yeah, it looks like uh, looks like you gotta you gotta go there. Now the shirts are starting at one hundred sixty nine dollars. Buy four shirts to get the fifth free. Are you serious? One hundred sixty nine dollars a shirt.
Wow. Well, I have one white shirt from them. They're charging $200 a shirt now. I guess they found that uh, they didn't need to do the online thing anymore. Well, whatever. Yeah, I got plenty of shirts, but this one, just the quality is so nice. That's the thing when you get a, when you find a, something different when you get clothes that are really good quality that fit you really well it's uh and this i don't mean it fits okay i think honestly the sleeves are actually a little too long it, i mean not perfect but it's just a really good the fabric is so nice i mean the fabric is held up for 15 years so anyway Back to cedar and cypress. Cypress and cedar. Hard to believe there's no burn holes in here, huh? So cypress and cedar, it's a great all year round fragrance. You could wear this all year easy. I mean, I, it's kind of weak for, for winter, but you know, if you don't mind that, I mean, honestly, it's way better to, you don't want to smell like, uh, what's that girl, Curly Fragrance, does 36 sprays. I mean, she can get away with it, I guess, because she's a hot girl. And, uh, you know, you, I mean, I think if you spray it that much on, you're going to make yourself more of an object. And uh, I think girls can kind of get away with that because we tend to objectify them as a rule, but it's not really what you want as a man. You don't want to be cologne man, you know? So, but with this uh, cypress and cedar, you could spray 10 sprays. It's probably not going to, you know, really, it's not going to, the sillage is not that amazing. So, you know, you could do like 10 sprays in the winter. But it's kind of nice to just have a subtle scent, really. You know, I mean, honestly, the, the scent, your, your, the fragrance is not, in my opinion, it's not really for other people. Sometimes you get an occasional compliment or whatever. Someone might smell and like it and not say anything. But it's really, it's for yourself. It's to make you feel just sort of satisfied in a way. I mean, I when I smell something that I like, it's nice. It uh, satisfies my olfactory sense the same way a you know, bite of a juicy steak would satisfy my taste buds. The sight of a beautiful trees and landscape or painting or something can satisfy your visual senses. I mean, that's all it is. It's just it's just another dimension of, of that. You know? so that's what I like about the Banana Republic scents. They're very nice and they're very subtle, but that's okay. You know, Parfums de Marley, that's one thing I'll say, and uh, I think the Fragrance Apprentice has said this, is that a lot of them... They can come off a bit obnoxious, like a bit like you're trying too hard, you know? So it's the intensity of the sillage, you know? 
Although I am thinking right now, actually, you know what would go well with this is a little laden exclusive. Laden exclusive would go well with this uh, cypress and cedar mix, I believe. But uh, I don't want to. I don't want to go too strong. It says there's uh, like a bitter orange in this, but I don't really get much. Yeah, maybe there's like a faint orange. There's a yeah, there's a faint orange note in there, but not. It's not too crazy. Yeah, I think if, if if this could be a little stronger, it would be good. But uh, because it is a really nice scent. But uh, you know, like I said, there is a there is a place for subtle scents. There's a place for for uh, for that. That'd be a good name for a channel. You know, subtle scents. What do you think? It does have that pepper, but it's it's a, it's there. It is there, but it's a subtle pepper. It's a it's a toned down pepper. It's not. It's got good vetiver. It's sort of dry. Well, it could be smelling the Uncre Noir too, but uh, yeah, sure. It's probably smelling the Uncre Noir. All right, enough of the industrial. Enough, enough of this industrial music. Sometimes, 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 sometimes
Yeah, I just, I gotta go back to the classical. I'm not in the mood for all this techno. Yeah, people really seem to compare this to uh, Terre de Hermes. Terre de Hermes. We would say this is a refined version of Terre de Hermes. I say I'm pretty impressed with this uh, mud. I mean, I haven't really even had a sip of coffee for wow, this huge dragonfly just landed on my fur. Man, I haven't seen a dragonfly that big in a while. Jeez. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this mud is good. It's uh I'm surprised it's been, uh, my sleep has definitely been better I've, since I stopped drinking coffee. My sleep has been way better. So, all right, well, so I'm happy with the cypress and cedar. And it is nice with a little Encre Noir. So, uh, it's cheap. You should get it. All right, talk to you later.